Hey guys, this is going to be a really short video, and uh, this is in regards to the Metro State video that was just released by, I believe, Jennifer Burton, um, and she was talking about the vandalism call from, I'm not sure what time the initial call went in, but something took place on April 7th at about 10.30 p.m., 10 p.m., whatever. This is when Jeremy was... Uh, Arrested. Actually, he was uh, booked early morning on April 8th. And there was some very disturbing things I saw in this video. Um, first and foremost, I do not condone or promote any type of violence whatsoever toward any person or their property. That's not what Stolen Valor is all about. Stolen Valor is all about telling the truth about the people that tell the lies. And the United States Supreme Court gives us that right, First Amendment right, to tell the truth about these people that lie about military service. And there's also the option of filing charges if they receive money, property, or tangible benefits for such claims okay that's it uh yeah i joke around i posted a video on throat punch thursday uh and that video was made up by a group of uh, military veterans and it was funny it's just funny but it's satire it's not what you should be doing when you confront anybody with stolen valor as well as vandalizing their property now there's still way too many questions about this whole video that just popped up. I'm only going to speculate a little bit, but uh, something doesn't smell right with this. I, I don't know all the circumstances. I know uh, Freedom of Information Act requests have been put in for all of the 911 calls, all of the body cam footage, all, all of that stuff has been requested. And that's going to probably pop up at some point or another. However, there were two photographs, or, or there's one photograph that was captured from the video that really uh, caught my attention, and it, and it really disheartened me in regards to Stolen Valor. And that's this photo right here. Um, it appears as though someone attempted to spray paint on the door of the F-550 tow truck from Metro State, Stolen Valor. This is totally inappropriate. You cannot be perpetrating crimes against people who are committing stolen valor. It, you're just making, making it harder for us to really out these people. And I have questions about this. This was, uh, I'm not sure when this photo was taken and put into that video. However, I do know at some time around, oh, late morning, and I'm not even going to be specific with this. Late morning of April 8th, when Jeremy was already locked up, somebody drove by Metro State and took a photograph of the 550 uh, tow truck with the flat tire. There it is. Do you see any spray paint on that door? This is after Jeremy was already locked up. So there it is, the morning of April 8th, late in the morning. And this was the photo that was posted in the video. So I'll let you guys make your own conclusions on what's going on here. So it's not passing the smell test right now. And it's really got me upset. So please, you know, you could be upset about Stolen Valor. I'm upset about Stolen Valor. But you can't be perpetrating any type of crime against a person or their property. Uh, you just can't do it, guys. Just don't do it. Uh, it, it. Like I said, it makes it harder for us to go after these guys when they're trying to say that all these Stolen Valor guys are coming after me and they're vandalizing my property and they're threatening to commit violence against me. That's not what we do. And that's something I don't condone. And I really hope it was nobody who has watched any of my videos or who's been following the entire Jeremy DeWitt uh, saga. 
because it's totally unjustified, uncalled for, and not the right thing to do. Okay, guys. So just wanted to make this really quick video about it. Again, I'll show you these pictures. Uh, this was off of the video that I believe Jennifer did. And then this was the, that same truck, uh, April 8th, late in the morning, right before noon. And as you can see, there's nothing on it. So just makes you wonder what's going on. What's the mind thinking there? I don't know. Uh, but as always, they're professional victims. Uh, and it is what it is. So I know I know Jennifer was saying Jeremy's going to be, oh, he'll be getting out soon. You just have to be patient. Well, that could be anywhere from a couple years to 80 years. It just depends because all of his bonds were revoked. So anyway, it is what it is. Guys, I hope you have a great day. Please take this to heart. Don't do this kind of stuff. And I'll be having some more com uh, content before long. If you like my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of any new uploads. And as always, thumbs up, thumbs down. Just lets me know you're there. Have yourself a great day.